What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and yes, it's been a while, and a lot of things have changed, so after talking to a bunch of my bros, from truck driver Sean to Chris Reardon and uh, Mike Hasty, everyone's just like, bro, just get back to what you're normally doing and go work your magic. So the other day, I decided to order the Synergy Direct. Um, and if you guys know anything about me, you know that I love Mesa rectifiers. Tons of people hate it uh, for obvious reasons because the low end is really loose. It's not the tightest of amps. It's actually not even close to being a tight amp at all, uh, which is fine. And so I watched a few videos and instantly what is going on so instantly realized that yeah, I need to make a video with this thing <laughs> so I watched all these videos and it's like the typical uh, all right this is what it sounds like uh, through the clean channel like bro it does an amp even have a uh, clean channel like I don't get it like I, I did that's just a me thing right I just want to, I just want the chugs. I want the brutal tones. That's all I care about. So I plug it into my KSR PA50. I run that out to my Marshall 212 cabinet that has Celestion V30s. Uh, uh, and I decide to use my Paul Reed Smith uh, Custom 22, which is uh, tuned to C sharp standard. So the one thing I kind of picked up on with other channels that have reviewed it is there, you know, some guys are just like, hey, this is kind of like your typical rectifier tone. It's not very um, tight. It's loose, has uh, that loose lower end kind of like um, like a Rev G kind of tone where you have to use a, uh, a boost pedal, any kind of anything that's going to tighten that that low end. And I experienced the complete stark opposite. I went guitar right into the Synergy Direct, uh, ran that out to my KSR PA50, into my Marshall 212 cabinet. Bro, that thing is tight as tight can be. And again, uh, not only is it supposed to have a loose low end, but when you're tuned down to C sharp, uh, down to C sharp, you know, you're, you're adding more of a looser low end and that thing could not have been any tighter. It's, you, know, you don't need a pedal. You don't. So I cranked the heck out of it and the PA50 is 50 watts. Maybe I cranked it to like six, seven, you know, in that level. And it's ridiculously loud. Even at that louder end, it's just, you know, super tight. And the whole time I'm thinking, what are all these people talking about? Loose end what? I have no idea what they're talking about. So this weekend, I'm going to make a video with it. And uh, I was talking to Steven over at Synergy. And I'm hoping that they send out uh, the SLO2, uh, which will be awesome. Because uh, we were chatting and I was just like, you know, I can't wait to, to try this out. And, you know, he reached out to me. He's like, do you want me to send you one? I was like, yes. Um, so that I think should be coming in the next week or so. So I'm super excited about the SLO two module, uh, cause I love the first SLO. When I bought that thing, I was just like, Ooh, that thing is spicy. Uh, and again, same thing. Like, dude, if you've never, you know, played around with synergy gear and Lord knows when I first heard of them, just like, nah, whatever. Now that I have it, bro, if you are into tone and don't want to spend an arm and a leg like synergy is literally the only way to go so all right guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned i'm going to have the video posted um sunday maybe so keep an eye out on that and that's going to be my first video back and talk to you soon